Keanu Weaver on Sensor Duty Show. What opted you to rent over own? Because uh, it's overpriced. I, I knew mortgage rates were going to go up. Um, and at the time, people were like, oh, look, Chicho's crazy. Like, it's, uh, uh, he's giving financial advice and uh, he's only renting and stuff like this. I'm like, dude, sure, interest rates are near zero right now, but they're about to kick up. They're about to kick up. Be warned, be warned, get out of debt. Like, if you look back at my videos, uh, financial advice videos and stuff like this, and a lot of other videos, the political stuff, I was telling people to get out of debt ASAP. We're going to go beautiful again. ASAP, because uh, interest rates were going to go up. And people were, some people were like, oh, Chicho, you're crazy. Interest rates, free money right now. Borrow as much as you can. I'm like, no, man. This is the time you should get out of debt because uh, they're about to kick it up and they kicked it up and man some of those people that bought houses uh, there is some are in the positives right and grand marnier right uh, some have made money right definitely some have made money but many haven't uh, and a lot of people base their lives around property that they were going to buy in Canada anyway right and according to the laws that they were they bought the properties under right and laws have changed zonings have changed interest rates have gone up I knew people that about a year ago they're making two payments a month that's a better way to set up your mortgage you make payments every two weeks right and only they were paying like I don't know how much they were paying. It was a crazy amount, right? But only like two dollars, five dollars of it was going towards the principal. The rest was all interest, right? I was like, wow, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. Okay. Not only that, the government in BC came out and changed the laws according to rentals and Airbnb and stuff like this. Now a lot of people that bought homes, bigger homes that they could afford because they they expected um income to come in from airbnb or rentals and stuff like this government changed the laws now they can't rent out the way they were doing before and they kicked up the taxes and they kicked up the licensing fees for that stuff so all of a sudden all these people have mortgages that even the ones that locked it in because in canada most people maximum they lock it in is five years right so even people who bought homes five years ago that locked it in right now it's coming up and they're mortgages are going to be a lot of people just l let it float by the way like 60 plus 70 percent of people 70 plus percent of people in canada they were buying homes with floating mortgage interest rates so they were they were screwed two years ago right but basically a lot of people are coming due to owning homes that they can't afford right i know people just in our neighbor two blocks away we we're picking cherries from their cherry tree last year they were like uh yeah they're professionals double income no kids right married couple right male female right double income no kids they bought a house and they were barely making it from paycheck to paycheck like professionals or good wages right that's why i didn't buy a house that's why we went for rental and we told the people that we were renting from we we told them straight up look we're here for the long term, right? If you plan on renovicting or uh, trying to get rid of us later on, a year from now, two years from now, know this. We're, we want minimum five-year rental, probably longer, right? We're not interested in flipping. If Be straight up with us. And they were. And we stay in the same place right now, renting for about seven years. And uh, great. Loving it. Because seven years ago, you could have put your money in better places than buying a home, right? Really. Just imagine, a lot of people go, oh, buying a home is the best investment you can make, blah, 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 blah. You can, you can control, you know, a million dollar home with, uh, you know, 5% down, $50,000 and then you pay mortgage, right? So with $50,000, you control a million dollar home, right? And when you're buying a house, you don't pay tax. The person, the... Uh, not you, you do pay tax but you don't pay the realtor fees right so in canada where i am the person buying the house doesn't pay a realtor right person selling the house pays the realtor right 
So let's say you bought a house a year ago at a million dollars or fifty thousand dollars down, right? Not a year ago, let's say I don't know, five years ago, right? For a million dollars. Now the house is worth one point two. Right? Now that's optimistic right now because there are people that are underwater, right? For five years ago, maybe not. Maybe it would be one point two. Some people not so, some people yes, right? Some people barely break even, right? 1.2. Now the person selling the house, right? They have to pay the realtor fees. The realtor fees are 7% for the first $100,000 in general average and 3% every 100,000 after that, right? So a $1.2 million house will cost you around 40 to $50,000 in realtor fees. Plus you need to pay for moving, plus you need to you're paying interest on your principal and all this you, and expenses you might have had and double moving and stuff like this that means people were risking fifty thousand dollars out, out of a two hundred thousand dollar profit than they would have made on a one million dollar house like twenty percent increase in a house over five years pretty damn good right fifty thousand would have gone to realtor so now you're down to one hundred fifty thousand dollars right a lot of expenses for moving selling all that jazz let's say put it all together that's another fifty thousand dollars right so you made a hundred thousand dollars profit on that you have to pay uh actually if you live a year uh more than a year you don't have to pay capital gains tax in canada for it now they changed it to you to two years right so just imagine everyone that bought a year ago and stuff right all in all people were risking fifty thousand dollars to make let's say a hundred thousand dollars Right? that's double your money that's pretty damn good well guess what you could have put it in places where you weren't on the hook for a million dollar loan because that's what a mortgage is right where the value of the house could have gone down and if you you know something might have broke and you're carrying out expenses it's dangerous owning such a high value property right if you're mortgaged out up the yin yang right if you're buying cash you don't plan on moving not okay to a certain degree right okay to a certain degree that's why i i found better things to do or we found better things to do with our money than risking it in in a bubble market buying at the peak because it was the peak